You know, it's interesting when you talk about John Kitzhaber. I first started covering the governor years ago when he was a state senator. But before that, he was a state representative. He has spent most of his life devoted to Oregon, working for Oregon. Tim Becker takes a look back at John Kitzhaber's career. Long before his first election to governor in 1994. I ask you to remember that we are all Oregonians, people who dream the same dreams, people who share the same future. John Kitzhaber had forged a career in politics already. In 1978, he was elected to the House of Representatives. Two years later, he began his first of three straight terms in the Senate, where he became Senate president from 1985 to 1993. This legislative session. Clear to adjourn, Sunny die. It was during that time that the physician with a degree from OHSU was the chief author of the Oregon Health Plan. Thank you. He won his first term as governor from 1995 to 1999, narrowly edging out Republican Denny Smith at the ballot box. His second campaign, though, was a landslide, handily re-elected in November of 1998 with a robust 64 percent of the vote. That I will faithfully discharge the duties of governor. With his son Logan in hand, he was sworn into office in January of 1999, then went on to develop policy initiatives related to natural resources, among them restoring the dwindling runs of threatened northwest salmon. It was during his final days of that term in 2002 that he met Sylvia Hayes. He left government work after that, but decided to jump back into the public eye and political ring in 2010. We have made three and a half million phone calls. He successfully ran against former trailblazer Chris Dudley. I, John Albert Kitzhaber. And with Hayes now by his side, was sworn into an unprecedented third term as governor and shared the governor's house with Hayes, who used the title First Lady, though the two never married. Third time in office wasn't exactly a charm, though, as he ended up taking much of the blame for the failed launch of Cover Oregon. Then late last year, allegations surfaced about Sylvia Hayes' personal life and dealings, both before she met and later with the governor. Late last month, he tells reporters Hayes will have no future role in his administration. By this week, powerful members of his party were calling for his resignation, a request he finally fulfilled with today's announcement, saying he's doing it for his love of the state. It is because of that love that I tender my resignation as governor effective at 10 a.m. on February 18, 2015. Tim Becker, Coin 6 News.